Hello, welcome to the little Poke Center where we hear your Pokemon card open needs back to perfect health. I'm Stefan and I'm getting better at the intro. I'm here with my son Theo. Hello. And my daughter Trin who is off screen. Hey guys. Today we got a whole different thing going on. We no are actually, packs. <laughs> we've got no packs unfortunately, but that's not a bad thing because we're actually going to show you the process of us just picking some cards of great and getting them graded. So there's a new grading company in the UK called Tree Frog Grading. And what we want to do is just kind of show you guys us looking at the cards to check out the grading quality and just packaging and then sending off and then we'll get the grades back and then we'll go from there so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to look at the quality of the cards we're going to package them we're going to guess what grade we think they're going to get when we get the cards back we're then compare like what is if we got it correct or not so the cards we have picked we've got six cards in total just to go through the cards that we've got the Munition gx from shining legends we got the externatus v max from shining fates a combustion staff card uh, this is from a Norwegian Championship. I think it falls into a like, Furious Fist. We got the Black Star Promo Pikachu. We got the Gengar Mimikyu from Team Up. And if you watched our previous episodes, we are submitting our alternate art Vaporeon V. We'll try and keep it quick because I know looking at card quality can be a bit tedious. The criteria we're looking out for is obviously centering. We've got the edges. We've got the corners and we've got the surface. So uh, let's start, all right, let's go with the centering first. Pretty happy with the centering, both front and back. The centering is pretty decent. Uh, the surface, I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you do spot anything, put a comment down below, but the surface is pretty clean, front mm. and back. Corners, going with corners, pretty clean as well. Edges, the top edge might have a little bit of whitening, but other than that, very good. I'm going to go with a 9.5 on this one. I was thinking the same. That sounds about right to me. 9.5 across the boards. Again, the first two are from Theo's collection. We've got the Externatus VMAX. Externatus. Externatus. It's E.T. The alien. Eternatus. Uh, the centering, again, very much like the Mewtwo. It's very like, solid. Pretty happy. Front. And back. Surface, again... Pretty happy. We didn't see any scratches or anything on the surface. Corners. So this, the corners I'm very happy with. Don't see to notice any whitening. This top bit here is from our light. See, it disappears. The edges, very clean as well. Let's see. A 10. Wait, so you're going with a 10? Yeah. So there's two 10s with tree frog grading. Alpha 10, which is like 10s across the board. And then you've got the... Bravo 10, where you can have like a subgrade of 9.5, where the rest are 10s. Bravo 10. There's going for a Bravo 10. I'm, I'm going to go with the Alpha 10 on this one. It'd be a really cool card to be an Alpha 10, but I think I might go Bravo 10 as well. Next card up, the Combuskin Staff promo card. Pretty happy with it. Centering. Let's go with centering. I mean, the centering at the front, I think it's more pushed this way. Mm. And it might be a bit more noticeable on the back. Centering's... Okay, so no print lines, scratches, or hollow bleed. On the back, though, it's the corners. Top left corner's got a bit of whitening, as well as the edge you can see just there. As I pull it up a bit. Yes, yeah, so there's whitening in like pretty much like every corner, and there's that edge wear on the side there. I'm going to go with a grade 8 on that one. I'm thinking between 8.5 or... Yeah, 8.5. I'm going to go with an 8 as well. The Pikachu. The black card. The Pikachu. Really cool card. Look at that. So again, centering, uh, I think it's pushed again a little bit off there. The surface, a bit in the corner there. Oh, oh no, no. So the surface is let down there. The back is pretty clean. Corners are pretty clean as well, and so is the edge. So I think it's the surface that's going to let mm. us down on that one, a bit of centering. I'm going to go with a grade 9 on that one. I'm going to be optimistic and go for a 9.5. Yeah. I'm gonna try. 9.5. Team up. Team up. Gengar and Mimikyu. If you've seen before, this was in What in the Post. <laughs> what in the Post. It's a really cool card. Surface wise, again, clean. Most of these cards are pretty clean. Centering. Looks good. Yeah, the front I'm happy with. Back. Back. Up and down. Yeah, exactly. The top seems a bit more. Corners. 
again very clean and the same with the edges a bravo 10 so Theo's going with a bravo 10 i'm gonna go with a 9.5 oh i was gonna say nine okay <laughs> you're going with the nine okay nine nine point five and a bravo 10 and our last one, if you've seen our previous episodes, the Eevee Hero series. Alpha 10. Don't even have to look at the card. Obviously, Trin's submission, She's she pulled and she was looking for the alternate art Vaporeon V. We managed to get it in our Eevee's bo- Heroes box series. Series. Two episodes. It's two episodes. It's a series. <laughs> it's a series if there's more than one episode. Surface is like so clean. Japanese card surfaces. Yes, yeah, so. exactly. Alpha 10. With centering, uh, I'm not too sure how Japanese cards do it. The front obviously is a bit more easy to tell with centering, mm. but the back uh, it just looks fine. So Japanese, yeah, I, I don't know with the centering stuff. Surface looks cool. Corners, again, very solid, as well as the edges. Alpha 10. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Trin is going with an alpha ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Bravo ten. Yeah, Bravo ten. Okay, so we've gone through the cards, we've got our guesses. Uh what we're gonna do now is quickly show you like a little bit of like how we're gonna package and send them off. So what we've done is we put them in rigid cards and at the back we had these cool little tabs that we stick on with the uh, order number. It just helps them when processing the card they know which submission to pin it to. Above that as well, we also add a nice little cardboard casing where we've just sellotaped it around just to keep it in one pack. In the envelope we've got, we've got bubble wrapped envelope. Keep those cards nice and safe. So we've got our guesses and everything. I will see you next time. And we're back just under two weeks later. So we sent them off and uh, Tree for Grading said on their website it'd be around about four weeks, but they've delivered in under two weeks, which is amazing. As you've just seen, we've sent our cards off to Tree for Grading. I'll leave a link in the description below to their website. Also on the Tree for Grading website, they have their grading criteria. If you go to the FAQs, you can check out how they're grading your cards and just what to look out for. So I'll leave a link in that in the description below as well. So also the cool thing about Tree for Grading is they give 5% of profit to the World Land Trust. So they're an organization that provides protection for all habitats and wildlife. So not only do you get a frog on your card, but you can also protect a frog. We have now got it back in a very nice box. Okay, so Thea's just opened it. Oh, nice. Firstly, nice little mm-hmm. business card. Um, we've just taken them out of the box because we could see they were flipped facing up and we don't want to see the grades just yet. But they also gave back our protectors that we sent in. I sent in our nice ones just because I thought they were just going to chuck them away. So it's really nice that they sent it back. Pretty cool. The protection, they've all been individually bubble wrapped. Okay, so Theo's got his Mewtwo. The guesses we had were... All 9.5. So, I'll let you go, Theo. (laughs) Starting off with a Bravo 10. Yeah. (laughs) So the cool thing about Tree for Grading is they got the subgrades, which was really cool. Uh, You can see here that the centering is the only one that let it down with a 9.5, but all 10s across the board. Love their designs because it's just like... You got that cool frog, and then the Bravo Ten is all in holofoil, and we got super loud rain. Maybe we weren't optimistic enough. Yes, yeah. Elevens. <laughs> all right, Theo's going for his next one, which is the Eternatus. I guessed an Alpha Ten, and Trinity Theo went for a Bravo Ten. A bra- Bravo Ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trinity Theo got the points. Nine point five on centering again. Is centering so letting centering. us down? I'll try and show that. Just really cool. All right, that leads me on to mine, the Combuskin. Uh, so this one is the staff card. Me and Trim went for an eight, and Thea went for an 8.5. Going for an eight, at least. Yeah. An eight, oh, yes, okay. Yeah. We've got the eight. Graded nine and below, you get the green frog logo. Bravo 10, you get the blue one, and Alpha 10, you get the cool pink one. 9.5 centering, edges got an eight, surface got a nine, nice, and corners got a seven. Oh, no, it isn't. Why did you just look? I just looked. I just looked You're at the stupid. Pikachu. <laughs> oh, well, I was right. <laughs> I, so I guessed the nine. <laughs> Trinity, I guessed the nine point five. I just got li- like I said, going like this to it. I'm like, Bruh. So uh, yeah, it got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> we got nine point five everywhere except for the surface, which got a nine. If all of it got nine point five, it'd be a nine point five, right? I thought 
they didn't do it in between. Yeah, I don't actually know. I think they might just do whole grades. So our point five guesses might just be useless. Okay, so I guessed a Bravo ten, Trin guessed a nine, and Daddy guessed a nine point five. So drum roll, please. But um, we have got <laughs> Bravo ten. Yes. That's Look at that blue frog. A centering nine point five again. <laughs> Damn it, centering. Our centerings are poops. How do you look Actually, 9.5 is not even poops. Bravo 10. Bravo. So this is our last one. The the alternate art Vaporeon. The alternate art Vaporeon from the EV Zero box. Me and Theo guessed a Bravo 10 and Trim went for the Alpha 10. I see something pink. No. Don't see it. <laughs> and it is... Oh, a Bravo, Bravo 10. 10. Why is that? It sounds like disappointing. <laughs> I expected an Alpha 10. It's edges this time. So the edges got a 9.5. Oh, <laughs> so close. Really happy like with our submissions and like just getting the grades back. Couldn't ask for anything more than that. Tree for grade, I mean like really good. They were quick with submissions. I uh, even contacted them on Instagram and they managed to just respond instantly. I'll leave a link in the Instagram link down below. Blah, blah, blah. Leave a like and comment down on how, what you just like about this card. So I give give Tree for grading a visit. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, I hit the mic. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs>